All right, what's up there guys? I'm just giving you a quick example of some schema markup that I'm gonna be doing for somebody. We're doing it live right now on YouTube and this will just be a recorded video I'm gonna put on uh, the landing page for uh, schema, white label schema markup services. If you need any help with them, uh, there's a button that you can get help with. I'll also leave a link in the description of this video if you would like to go check out the page if you're not currently on it. So let's just go over it really quick. This is a website I've never really seen before. I've just got the logins. Here's the home page. And we want to, first of all, identify what we got going on here. So let's exit out of here. Let's go check out what's up coming up here on the structured data testing tool. Run a test. So right now we just have web page markup. Um, now, uh, Arbor Nola, the guy who just sent me this, do, are you a local business or is this a national business? Doesn't look like it's local because there isn't really anything going on in the title that says it's local. Although we can see a local address here. So we do want to figure out whether we want this to be organization markup or local markup. While we're waiting for his response, we're going to go over to plugins. We're going to add a new plugin. Search JSON LD. Install this. Activate. And then we're going to go into schema.org settings. And we already have web page markup on the website, so we're not too worried about that. Um, one thing that we might want to enable is um, blog posting. Let's see if we got that on here already. So we do have a blog. Click on this. And let's go check out the markup. Okay, so it is using article markup, which I generally don't recommend. Um, usually you want to do blog posting markup if it's a blog post. You'd want to do like an article if it was more like a uh, news article or something. Now, also you can see here that this is a lot of um, stuff going on in here. Probably way too, way, way more than it needs to be. So we're going to go, um, first of all, we probably want to disable that and we would enable blog markup on posts. Um, we'd want to um, set our image for the blog post. So we'll just use our logo, copy this link URL, plug it in, and organization name is right here. It's just Wabu Web. Um, actually, the logo is supposed to go right here. I think the default URL is usually just whatever the first image is, so we'll just keep that. And then, um, sorry, this didn't take the image URL. Let's grab this here. And let's plug it in. Who keeps calling me? This is Chase. Hey, I'm actually doing a recording right now. This, I'm in the middle of a video. Yeah, yeah, I'll call you back though. All right, bye. Uh, okay, so then we want our image to be a certain width. I think it's like 155 by 300 or so. Or no, it says right here what it needs to be. So it needs to be greater than 600 and greater than, so let's just do 600 by 60. And we're just going to keep it like that, save changes, and then you'd want to disable the article markup wherever that's coming from, if you can, uh, Arbor. So we'll do new test, try it again. And let's see if it went in there correctly. Um, looks like maybe it's not caching. So let's see, is there a cache on here? WP Rocket, let's clear the cache. And try it again. So there we go, looks way better. And we got no errors, so that's good. 
Um, again, I would disable the article markup, but I don't know where you're get, where you're pulling it from. I don't want to like mess with any plugins on your site right now. So, um, okay, now we're gonna go back over to our plugin, and we're gonna do a little bit of uh, stuff through this plugin. Then we're gonna do some manual markup as well. So we also got the organization markup that we need on the home page. So let's just put that on the home page. You only need it on one page, and we are gonna say Wabu web um, the URL is obviously whatever the home page is right here and the logo is going to be the same one over here um, sorry Okay, contact point, we're just gonna take the phone number and the contact URL. So here's the phone number. And the way you do is you do plus one and then whatever the number is. So we would do one, five, oh, four. And this will be for um, sales. The email, let's see if we can find it anywhere. There it is. and the area serves US. Um, contact options, we can do toll free, hearing impaired, sure. Actually, we don't know, so we'll just do toll free. And then social profiles for the website. Let's see if we can find those anywhere. So we got Facebook, we got Instagram, and this is just gonna be more likely to get the company to show up in the knowledge panel, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I'm gonna save changes, test the homepage, see if it went through all right. Let's go ahead and clear the cache again. And there we go, looking good. Organization markup is now rocking. Okay, let's go back to some of the other pages. And um, we're gonna want to get breadcrumbs on this website. Let's see if they're on here already. So we'll go to one of the service pages. New test, plug it in. And we got uh, no service markup and we also got no breadcrumbs. So let's go do that. So we're gonna go to here. We're gonna go enable breadcrumbs, put it on all pages. We're not gonna put it on the home page. And let's see if it's pulling now. We'll clear the cache again. And there we go, some nice breadcrumbs showing up. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the actual service page. And unfortunately, we're gonna have to do manual markup for this, which isn't too hard to do. So the way you do um, service markup is you first figure out what the service is. So we have um, web design, and this does go to a different, looks like WordPress install. I don't know if I would def if I would do that. It's like some sort of different theme. Um, so Google My Business, SEO services, website design. So let's go take an example service, a so service uh, markup um, code. And we're just gonna copy it from the schema library. Okay, so we got um, a couple different examples. We got car driving so you can see here um, this is taxi service uh, this is type of a local business we probably don't want to do that one um, that's another local business let's see if we can do one without local business now I don't know if, if it's necessary to do local business markup um, 
for services. I think you can do it without it. Um, let's just see. I had a few examples on my own website. I wonder if they're still there. Let's just check this one out. Now these pages did get changed. Somebody designed them, so I'm not 100% sure if the markup's still on them. Okay, there it is. And it looks like a couple things didn't get specified in here, so that's fine. But we'll just copy this markup. So all you have to really do is just go ahead and uh, we're going to go copy this. So we're going to go grab all this right here. And we're going to install a plugin called J, uh, sorry, OH scripts. That's what it's called. Because we need to be able to inject code into the headers on individual pages. So we'll go to plugins. And we're going to add new. And we're going to go to uh, JSON, or sorry, OH scripts. Add that. Now, because that is a separate page, I'm not actually sure. Oh, it looks like it's still on the same website. Okay. So here we go, WordPress website design. Now, what we want to do is we want to open up our structured data testing tool. We want to do new tests and do code snippet. So we'll run test. We're going to change all the information. So we're going to call it Wabu Web. Um, aggregate rating, This is you're only going to want to specify this if there are actual reviews on the page, which which if there are, this is a really good way to, um, well it used to be to get review markup on the search results. Unfortunately now I don't know if they still show them because I think there has been some updates, but it's still good to specify reviews if you have them on the page. So let's go check really quick if they're on this page. Any reviews? Okay, no reviews. So that's fine. Let's go back to where we were. So we're going to just take out aggregate rating out. And we're going to just take the description of the page, which is right here. Plug it in. Okay. And it's related to uh, website design. And the service type is a web design service. Um, and then we're going for the business audience and WordPress web design is the URL. Okay, let's test it out. Looks all good, no errors, so we're happy with all this. Let's go ahead and bring it into the page. So we'll press edit. And sorry, let me just clear some of these tabs because there is a lot going on here. That's why we're getting so confused. Okay, so we're gonna scroll to the bottom, find OH scripts. And we're going to just add that straight in there in the header. Go ahead and update it. And let's take the structured data testing tool and see if it works out. And there's the service. So now we have service markup, breadcrumbs, and web page all looking good. Now let's go and do this for the other service pages. Now it should be a lot faster because we already have this all pulled over. So we're just going to copy this, go back to Wabu Web, Services, Google My Business Optimization, Edit. And again, this should be a lot faster this time. So we're just going to plug this in. Instead of it saying Web Design Service, we're going to call Google My Business Optimization. Um, we're going to say, pull the description again. Okay. 
We're going to take the URL. And it's related to Google My Business. Save it and test it. There we go. Now we just got a couple more, so let's just pull this same markup. SEO services, edit the page. Plug it in. This time we're gonna say um, SEO services. We're gonna say the description. This is related to SEO, obviously, and the URL. And we're going to save that. Test it. And we're going to do the last one, which is the WordPress care plan. Just go into the page, grab the, this again. Edit page. Service type, WordPress website maintenance. Uh, description. URL and it's related to WordPress. So now we got all the services done. Now we just have to get the um, about page and the contact page done and we should be pretty much good to go. So about us, let's go get about us markup. We're gonna grab all this. Now this does take a little bit longer, but it is definitely worth it once you get it done. So we want to grab where it starts with the uh, markup, which should be right about here. I'm gonna copy all this over, do a code snippet, plug it in. Okay, now we just have to start replacing the images. So let's start by taking the ID, which is this page. Okay, uh, next thing we're gonna do is take the same thing, the URL, plug it in. Then we're gonna go to the about, and it's gonna be about Wabu Web. Uh, the mentions is going to be same URL. And the um, Creative work, I believe, is also going to be. Whoops. Uh, creative work is going to be right here. Sorry, it's a little bit jumpy right now. I'm not sure why. We 
got to be a, kind of repetitive in this stuff, which is annoying, but it's not too bad once you get it. Um, then we're going to list our organization, which is... Let me just bring this down. I think I can do that. Here, let me see if I can just resize this really quick in Notepad. Interesting. I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, well, we got most of it. So, um, creative work, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so ID for the about is going to be, or sorry, this is the home page for organization. So, we need to grab the home page, which is just the same as the home page URL. Just want to make sure it's the definite URL or the absolute, whatever it's called. Twitter, so let's go grab the social profiles. I don't know if there was a Twitter, so we can just take that out. Oh, there was, so Twitter. And Facebook. And that's pretty much all we got in that one, which is fine. Um, logo is going to be right here. And then the description for the about page is going to be right here. So this is why you don't minimize all your schema. You know what, I actually probably could have done this a lot easier if I would have um, I would have just pulled this straight from my page directly, but oh well. Just do that next time. Oh my gosh, I can't even scroll over without it jumping. <laughs> this is just terrible. Let me just uh, go like that. We'll just do it through here. Okay, let's take that description now. Okay, let's take the parent organization, which is the same one as this right here, because there is no parent organization. Name is Wabu Web. And this looks pretty good. So let's copy all that, plug it back in. Hopefully there's no errors. And looks like it's all transferred over. Looks good. Okay, so we're gonna take all that, go into the about page, edit. Am I self-taught? Yes. I dropped out of high school a long time ago. There we go. Plug that in. Page should be good now. 
Just test it. And everything looks pretty good here. Or sorry, that's my own page. Let me uh let me grab your page. We still need to mark up the images too, I forgot. So we'll do the contact, then we'll mark up the images. Oh, I forgot to clear the cache. And they're still not seeing it. Not sure why. Should be good. Let's go see if this is in here. Yep, it's right there. Maybe the cache didn't clear correctly. Weird. Oh, what is this up here? Maybe it's this script that's pulling. Try it now. I think I accidentally had my minify script in there. Weird. Well, should pull eventually. I'm not sure why it's not. Um, maybe we'll check back in on it in a second. But it's got everything set up like it should be. And let's see if the schema is showing up on the page itself. Um, here it is, I believe. No, there's the organization. And here's the about markup. So maybe, maybe it's just taken a second to show up. Should be good though. Let's just take the code and put it on here. Web page. Oh, interesting. It's not on there. Huh. So for some reason it's not pulling from the plugin. I'm not 100% sure why. Maybe it's just not caching right now, but it will in a little bit. Let's go do the contact page. It's duplicated, is it? There's one error on my contact page, and I think it's just because I don't have an image. No, it's not duplicated. What does this minify script keep coming back here for? We'll come back and look at it. Um, contact us, let's just take this code here. Pull it all over. And the spacing's still crazy. Okay, well we'll just edit it in Notepad. All right, so format word wrap. Okay, so contact page, we're gonna put the contact URL in here.
There we go. Okay, now we're gonna take the home page, put it there. Um, name is Wabu Web contact page. Image is the logo. Um, okay, looks like you got to put it twice for some reason. Oh, three times apparently. Interesting. Okay, let's take the description of the contact page. Okay, hours available. Let's see what time they're open. Doesn't look like, we'll just do nine to five. We'll just do the same as what we already have here. Um, Chase Reiner hours, Wabi Web hours. Take the logo again. It's not pulling the right. Just needs to be just the URL. There we go. Okay. Specify language type. Um, email. Nine to six, okay. Nine to... Seventeen thirty, I think that's six what is sixteen in army time? Sixteen Oh, so it would be eighteen in army time. Um Phone number. Um, email. number again so 
this would be the toll free version and Okay, let's see how that all shows up. Code snippet. And it looks like we're missing a bracket. Comma, maybe. Oh, the comma is maybe right here. Not sure what the error is here. So it's somewhere over here. Might be that this is not supposed to be. Whoops. So image is like that. Oh, maybe there's not supposed to be a bracket, but a comma here. So let's just see what the difference is between this one and the other one. This happens all the time in schema. So what was the error? It was right here. Image source equals next to opening hours. So opening hours is here and image is bracket like that. So that was right there. image is in quotes so I don't think there was a maybe that's what it is so let's just do this see what happens okay so there we go And then we'll change this over to gonna change that to the right one. So image is actually right here. That should be good. Now let's go see what else. So URL, property URL is not recognized by Google as an object type of the contact page. Let's see what's going on there. Oh, it's probably because we got that there. So that's done. And then the only other thing is that the contact page must be attached to a parent type and that's the one thing I couldn't figure out um, when I was last doing this. I don't know. I think somebody else figured it out. Maybe you guys know in chat how to attach it to a parent type. I don't think it's incredibly important though at the moment. Um, looks like this is unspecified type. So where is that getting pulled from? So this is next to our specification. And then it says just ID.
Probably gets missing this. Oh no, it wasn't. Maybe we can just yoink this one out. So apparently you have to have that image in there. Um, sure, I'll take it, Jay Schaefer. I mean, there's just like, it just has to have a contact point, I think. Contact point option. Let's see if schema app got it. This is initially where I pulled it from. See, they have the one error too. Something weird is going on with this uh, structured data testing tool lately. Not sure why it's all freaking weird, like the sizing.
Okay, I'll check it right now. Oh, yours is way more simple. For some reason, yours isn't working either, Joel. Oh, there it is. Okay. Is it because I did the uh, phone number wrong? Oh, it's because the last comma is not supposed to be there. Okay. Well, at least we got it done. And now let's just do the images. What's up, Daryl? So for the images we use, um, and this is for OG data as well. Uh, SSO Pro. Well, you got to get the Pro version, but you can just get the regular one for now. You know, it should mark up your images. Okay, let's test everything out now. Should be pretty good at this point. Service, K. Okay. Let's 
see about SSO. Who's calling me every two seconds? So, yeah, this should get marked up. Looks good. Looks good. Contact page looks good. About page finally pulled. Looks good. So I think all the schema is finally done on this site. So if you guys want help doing this stuff, you don't want to go through all this stuff that I just went through, you want me to do it for you because it is kind of annoying. Um, again, the link will be in the description. Uh, hold on, I'm not sure why the blog. Oh, the blogs because okay, yeah. Um, the blog posts should be good though. So yeah, just go to the page, get it done for you. Um, I might end up increasing the price on this if too many people get it because I can't do too many for as low as the price is. But that's it. So. Um, We'll see you guys in the next video.